Carlene. Tonight, one person is in custody after a brazen theft at a public storage facility in Lemon Grove. Several thieves broke into more than three dozen units and stole thousands of dollars worth of valuables. CBS 8's Rocío de la Fe talked with one of the families who kept their things in one of those units. The San Diego Sheriff's Department says thieves broke into a total of 35 storage units and it was all caught on camera. I spoke to one couple who's now trying to get back what was taken from them. It's all gone. It was just so normal for them. This is the moment thieves walk away with thousands of items belonging to Matthew Rosenberg and his partner, Dina Chan. I've been crying off and on the last couple of days. It's not just material possessions. A lot of stuff that holds special meaning to me and us, a lot of keepsakes that we bought each other. Um, there's some family items in there that date back to when I was born. The video the couple shared only shows some of the people involved, including a child whose face we've blurred. The burglary took place overnight on Wednesday. Rosenberg says it appears the thieves knew what they were doing. It was very coordinated. They rolled in with uh, multiple cars, um, several, people. several people. They had kids with them. Um, the kids were involved. They were taking stuff out. Among the items inside the couple's storage unit was a priceless collection of comic books Rosenberg had been collecting since he was a child. Some of the items are worth several thousand dollars. This is infuriating, anger, sadness. It's been a very emotional past couple of days. The couple is among the 35 families who were randomly targeted by the thieves shown in the video. It's jaw dropping. It's um, it's incredible what they did. It's it's disgusting. Investigators with the San Diego Sheriff's Department say they've arrested one person so far. Damage to the units is estimated at nearly $10,000 and deputies believe the suspects stole more than $84,000 worth of items from the units, but the dollar amount is likely to be higher. There's a lot of families that were affected. It's not just us, and that's just heartbreaking, especially before all the holidays. The couple now hopes to recover the stolen items and see the people involved face justice. Rocio de la Fe, CBS 8.